cities are about people. The rest of it is the means to an end. You have to be prepared to identify yourself as a customer. If you want, on a regular basis as a commuter or as a visitor, to align with your operator. The operator can serve you, but it doesn't have to be a trade-off for your privacy. It can be made in a way that uh, there are provided open data which come from other customers. By social media like Twitter, customers can inform each other on trip of what is happening and on alternatives. People are getting older in a different way than they used to get older perhaps 30 years ago. By 2020 or maybe 2024, people will not necessarily live two years more, but at least two years more at home. Young people are crucial. Our research team is uh, especially interested in um, investigating which are the effects of ITS on the travel behavior, so the potential model diversion of uh, people. And what we found about uh, with, uh, with the previous uh, researches uh, is that uh, ITS themselves are not sufficient for uh, triggering this uh, change of mentality because the travel habits are really strong, so people are used to move and to do their, uh, their trips in, uh, with certain modes and they are not so willing to, to change modes. So seven out of ten cities actually do not have a, a greenhouse um, reduction uh, agenda today. But one solution to this is of course that uh, the sensor systems, for example, that are needed for uh, control so, such that greenhouse gases can really be reduced, they have to be very cheap. And this is why the strong focus in our EU Net Air cost network is to really produce uh, low-cost uh, sensor systems for reduction of greenhouse ga gases and other to toxic uh, pollutants. And we currently import about a million euros of energy a day. The low carbon economy is going to be a major economy of the future and Europe needs to really gear up to that. There may be a growing gap between policy and what we're actually achieving in practice. We need to tackle problems that are common to all the cities. So when we look to the future in getting our policy into practice, we need much more sophisticated financial tools. The most uh, innovative uh, aspect uh, on uh, the European Innovation Partnership on Smart Cities and Communities is the fact that we are putting at work together three sectors, that is energy, transport and ICT. This uh, breaking the silos concept, I think, is the more important issue. Okay, so what's really required is to have a mechanism whereby um, experts that are um, working in cost actions, ideally um, working in concert with other cost actions, um, can exert influence on funding mechanisms.